Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Lost Souls with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan, I didn't know you were into boats. I love boats. You love boats? I love the HMS Dolores boat. Boom! Uh, boom, this is <laughs> HMS Dolores. It's a kind of, uh, not push your luck, but a, a backstabbing kind of Canadian game. You're all playing pirates who just raided uh, the area, and you're divvying out the uh, the treasure. Right, and, right. Uh, one for you? One yeah, for and you can one play it safe and try me. to make sure everyone gets a fair share, or if you have some greedy friends, uh, it can kind of screw over everyone. So, <laughs> yeah, it's basically the mechanic of the game. All right, it sounds pretty cool. And this is actually by uh, Eric Link, too. Yes. He's one of the guys, he's done a bunch of games. He's done a bunch of games, Bloodborne, too. Cool yeah. Bloodborne, like a bunch of stuff with them, too. Yeah. So, recognize him. Let's take a look. I'm excited to see what's inside the HMS Dolores. All right, here we have the HMS Dolores. Yes, I like the art design because like it's it's a little chest with water oh, around the side. Let's see what they're doing. Very there. cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not a heavy box. No, it doesn't look like that. What's the back look like here? Here's the back. So it's gonna show you the cards. It has a little, uh, basically story. Should we read it? I feel like we should read it real All quick. All right, can you do an accent? I'll do it. You want me to do it? Yeah. What kind of accent should we do? Uh, a pirate accent. Free booters of lit signal fires along the shoreline's jagged rocks to lure ships that become lost in the stormy night. One such ship, the HMS Dolores, just run aground. Salvaging the ship's cargo, the looters convened to divvy up the spoils by way of a strange ritual. That was really good. You like that? I was impressed. Thanks, man. Yeah, I just, that was on the, on the fly there. Drink some water. You deserve it. <laughs> yeah, I do. Thanks. Was All little, right. That was a little rough. I had to drink some water. Oh, that's cool, too. Like, So this oh, is the real look. Uh, that's like a wave. A little design. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. That's the cards. Style oh, the cards. points, man. I gotta give Dude, them props yeah. for style points. Very style. Uh, okay, so this is the rule book. We'll go over that in a second. It's not for very sure. wrong. Oh, uh, a little. We'll, okay, check, we'll, we'll check, we'll we'll check in a second. Uh, here's the cards and a little sleeve. It's a little wave. That's kind of cool. That is really slick. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to take this out, but I don't think there's anything else. I don't think there is either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's all yeah. there's in the. That's that is super cool. Oh, okay, props on packaging. Good job, guys. Good job. What do we got for the cards? Let's slip these out. I'm scared oh. to slip them out, man. Oh, well, if I can. Hold on. I wasn't going to do this. Oh. There we go. All right. So what do we got as far as So we have the cards? treasures. Uh, so obviously this is going to be worth that's three, important. one, stuff like that. So that's how much they're worth. You get different colors, which we'll have okay. to figure out what's the difference. Blue. Yeah, we don't. I haven't yeah. re read the rules yet, yeah, so I have so no idea. Yellow, blue, red, green, looks like. Um, okay. Purple. Purple. I bet you if you like get one of a color, you get more. I think how it, actually no, I think how it works is uh, you only count the points. This is uh, like a for lighter, the color you have the most and least stuff. It's like a lighter, lighter blue. blue. Yeah. Um, keep going. That's gray. gray. Uh, da, 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 da. And then there's these guys. Uh oh. Cut through. Uh oh. More crates. Is there something on the back? No. No. Oh, no. Maybe. Yo, yeah, oh, these are like the date. Maybe. No. No. Those are message in a bottle. So. Yeah, Dolores. That's okay. All right, I, I officially don't know what these do. Let's let's you know. Let's figure it out. I think it's time to look at the rules. So here are the rules for the Dolores HMS Dolores yes. game, which is uh, it's really cool looking so far. So yeah. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and pop on in and take a look. So here here's how it works. These are all the different goods cards. So there's different sets. There's weapons, wines, jewels, lace, tableware, musical instruments, and ingots. Okay. So that's why they're different colors. Right. Uh, each type of good is packaged into 10 different crates. There's seven one-point crates, two two-pointers, and one three-point crate. Okay. And then there's 10 message cards with the, the black message uh, All right. cards in the back. And they, those are special events. I'm not going to go over how those work in the game, but that's what they're for. <clears throat> you set up your decks. Uh, you can play a two-player or a four-player, so two to four. Two, three, or four players. Two, so, three, or four. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it determines how many started decks and stuff like that. Okay. I see, so two players get four cards. Right, but there's the contest of the game is basically, it's always between two players. So okay. if you're playing four players, the other two players that sit out while two players are doing a little looting contest. Right. So remember, you're wreckers and you've you've staged this wreck, so right. you're here to pick up the loot. So you take your uh, take your uh, um, your loot deck and you flip up four cards. And then the two players that are participating have to decide how those cards are gonna get laid out. If we could actually zoom in real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just wanna show, I'll just pull it up here. You see how there's a line in the middle? Right there. Right, so these two cards up top are this player's, and these two cards on lower are gonna be there, those two players. That's okay. What they, that's what they're agreeing on. Like, hey, this is what I want, this is what you right. want. You go with that, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, 
Now here's where it gets interesting. This is where you play a little game of Rochambeau, one, right. two, three, yeah. and you have three options. You can do peace, which is an open hand, you can do fight, which is a close fist, and you can do first pick, which is a thumbs up. Thumbs now, up. Okay. it's not one beats the other. Each combination has a separate effect. This is not rock, paper, scissors. This is not rock, game? paper, okay. scissors, the card game. If you both do peace, you take your two cards that were on your side of the line and you walk away peacefully. If one player chooses fight while the other player chooses peace, the fighter takes all four cards. Mm. If they both choose fight, then all four cards are discarded and you walk away with nothing. Right, okay. Okay, so what is first pick? Right. If you choose first pick and the other player chooses peace, the first picker gets to choose immediately one of the other cards and and walk away. And, and, and take their two cards too, and the other player is stuck with one of the remaining cards. So that's kind of weird, because yeah. you could pick one of the cards that you were going to get anyway, and they could still get two cards. two cards. But you can also choose one from theirs and then... Right, but you could choose one of theirs and end up with three cards and only get one. Right. Or if you pick first pick and they pick fight, then immediately the first picker takes one of the four cards and the fighter takes the remaining three cards. You like scare them off. Right. Now if you both pick first pick, here's where it gets tricky. All four cards are discarded from the sharing area. Then both players must simultaneously point to one set of goods they own and discard it entirely. You lose a whole set of cards. Wow, yeah. You both pick first pick. So it's almost worse than fight. Because you know, yeah. you just lose those cards, you lose your set too. Yeah, so, that can be brutal. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Um, so that's where the fun comes in. So mm -hmm. if Evan, you want to shoot real quick and right. see, we'll go one, two, three, shoot. All right, ready? So one, one two, two, three, three shoot. shoot. So we both pick fight because naturally we on camera. Right. And so if we had four cards, we would have all lost them. Right. So that's how that works. And it's pretty simple. And just to show real quick, there's a cheat sheet on the back. So pretty cool. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's complicated. Really, really simple. Um, you're, you're encouraged to talk about this, your intentions, and talk to it. It's a social game. game. It's a social yeah. game. This is very much a social game. Uh, and again, they have a three-player game example, how that all works. Right. Uh, if you're playing a three-player or basically more than two-player game, that's where the messenger cards come in. Okay. Uh, again, I don't want to get into that, but they are special events. That's cool. The game ends when the dawn card is drawn. Okay. And that, the sharing con everything stops and you count your sets. Okay. So this is where it gets a little weird too. Uh, the set counting is a little strange because- How you point. How you, how how you score points. Okay. First off, you add up the total value of the good cards of each set. So in this case here, they've got five different sets they need to find out what each set is worth. So he's got two points for wines, two points for laces, four points for musical instruments, five ingots, and six tableware. So okay. it looks pretty good, right? Right. However, um, you uh, add up the sets with the highest total and the lowest total. So you add up the two sets, or sorry, in this case, it's the two sets that have the lowest total are the two wines. So you got two and two, so that's four. And then he's got six tableware, so that's six. six. And that equals 10. So that would equal 10 okay. points. Uh, if you have multiple sets that are tied for the highest and lowest total, then count them all. So again, you count both the wine and the laces because they're equal. Right. Uh, and if all your sets have the same total value, then double your score. They count in effect as both the highest and lowest. So in this, again, going back to this example real quick. Yeah. He had five ingots. He, if he had scored one more ingot, he would have had two sets of two and two sets of six and scored a total of 16, 16 points. points. Ah. In this example, this player has three sets and each set has the exact same amount. Right. So that means he's got three plus three plus three uh, times two, you double your score, you have 18 points. That's awesome. So while yeah. they might have lesser cards, they actually scored more points than this person. Yeah, that's very cool. So it's kind of a... You have to think, think about your opponents like cards and also think about it like, you kind of want to keep it small. In a way. Well, it depends yeah. on the strategy. That's where this game, again, the score is a little weird, but that's where it gets really interesting, interesting too. Yeah. But aside from the, you know, do I want to trust this person with a piece? Do I want to screw them over in a fight? Or do I want to try to first pick and just get my stuff and get out? Right. It, it gets really interesting, I think, with, you know, because uh, you can see their cards. You yeah. can see what yeah. they're packing and how you can kind of, if you know how the scoring works, you can kind of calculate ahead, their score. But you, you never know when that Dawn card's going to come up. Right. So, yeah. You don't know where that's going to come up and you don't know what they're going to do exactly. when it comes to the sharing contest. Yeah. So this is a really interesting a cool game. social game. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, for two to four players, um, if you don't have like super gamery friends, I think this would be a lot of fun to yeah. play. Yeah, it's a good social party game. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, let's hop out for a really quick recap. 
Well, that was the HMS Dolores. Yes. The card game, mm -hmm. tile game, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Really cool. I like the mechanics with the one, two, three. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thing, yeah. It's a good social game, good party game. Not yeah. very complicated at all. Very, yeah. very, very cool. Let's crunch some numbers real quick. Yes. Uh, what's the price point on this one? Twenty four ninety five. Not too shabby. Yeah. And uh, what's the uh, two to four players? Right? Two to four players. You can play three. Mm -hmm. Two one two, or two to four. Games usually last around twenty minutes. Twenty minute games makes uh, sense. And it's recommended fourteen and up, so not too complicated. Yeah. There you go. Just want to be old enough so that you can backstab somebody. Yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> right. Well, it's again. You saw the cards. Really cool artwork. Really fun mechanics. Really fun game. Go check it out. Is this one brand new? Or brand new. In stores now. Sweet. Yeah. Well, I'm Adam here from Bell Hustles. I'm Evan from Dragon Slayer Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon Slayer Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Oh.